Uh, I won't spend much time on it, but I will say if you're looking for something to play and you bought Elden Ring once upon a time, I jumped into a uh, randomizer run. Well, the randomizer. Yeah. Man. Do you like it? I, I'm at the fine. I put 30 hours <laughs> into that run. <laughs> it's man. It, it, I don't know if you guys knew this. Elden Ring's a really good game. Uh, and if you start up another run of Elden Ring, is it? I heard it was overrated. If you put another game of Elden Ring in front of me, I'm going to have to play that. Uh, and so I put, I think, 30, 35 hours uh, into it. Um, and the randomizer was is just great. Uh, the first, I had to do two different seeds because the first seed that I did, you know, like the tutorial cave that they, the cave of knowledge, I think is what it's called. I spawned into the first one and there was like a guy, like a knight on a horse, which is fine is the first mob. But the second mob was one of the hands from the giant area. And we were in a cave and I didn't have a single item. So I reset that. because there's no. Way. I didn't even get the, uh, the bonfire above. So I had to go forward. There was no way that I could go anywhere else except forward. I don't even know what the boss was uh, in the cave at that run because the bosses were all randomized. That is very uh, unfortunate. Yeah, so I reset it, uh, and I didn't do that. I walked outside. It, it was the the best part of that game is you have literally no idea what's going to happen at any moment when you turn a corner, when you loot an item, and when you walk into a boss fight. Um, and so, like, I walked into the first the the Margit fight the Mar Margit Mar Margit however you want to say it the first like big story boss and it was a giant gargoyle the gargoyle fight from Nokrin and I was like okay this isn't that bad because all the HP values are adjusted to what the bosses would have at about that point in the game so I start fighting the the gargoyle and it gets to like sixty percent HP and then a second gargoyle jumps into the fight on the bridge and I'm just like, Oh man, I'm going to, I got to go, I got to do Elden ring and that's just leave and go elsewhere on the map and just get XP and find things to fight. Yada, yada, yep, yada. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I, I got apparently a pretty lucky seed, uh, because I found, uh, the, the, the star scourge, whatever weapon, the like giant two handed weapons that uh, Rodan has uh, is his weapons pretty early on. And so those kind of carried me through a lot of the fights, but it is very good. Uh, the, the randomizer is super easy to install. Uh, you have to play offline because I think it can get you banned if you load into an online save of that because it completely messes with the game. Um, and so you, you play offline, but it's very easily just uh, download the mod. Uh, click random and then launch the game and you're good to go. Um, cool. It's on Nexus mods is where I found it. So uh, didn't expect to do a full run of Elden ring, but I did. I got to, I'm at the final boss. I haven't beaten it yet. Uh, the Elden ring replacement. So when you fight a boss with multiple um, stages, like the final boss where there's, you fight one boss and then another boss after that, it gives you two random bosses. And so my two random bosses are uh, Estelle for the first fight. If you know who Estelle is, is the giant like bug-like god thing from the stars that hangs down uh, that you fight in the oh, very, yeah, very, okay, okay. very low. That's first. The Astro yeah. Spider. And he has the stats of that fight in the original game. So his HP value is skyrocketed, right? And then the second fight, which is the pain in the ass, is Malekith which is a nasty, nasty fight when you have the HP of the Elden Beast. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. It's just like, I couldn't beat him. I, I sat there like for about an hour trying to fight him and it was not happening. What uh, kind of build you use? I, at that point I was using a strength build, Star Scourge, uh, whatever okay. it's called. Um, I forget the full name. It's just like a two-handed uh, sword. And I had- uh, Which one's Malaketh again? Malaketh is the- guy that you normally fight in the floating city the end the cleric beast the second phase of the cleric beast oh oh my god yeah fuck that dude. yeah he's the final wow. boss he sucks oh, i damn. hate that guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> i hate him i don't like him he's got max hp uh full hp and the stats of like elden wow. or the boss so wow 
not a fun fight not a fun fight at all oh so i didn't know that's how they did randomizers i didn't know they they adjusted their hp and stuff for where they build where they come in the story yeah that's neat i should know that either yeah, yeah. Found millennia. I thought like you could like get to the end boss and it's like the first level, you know, whatever boss, the first boss you beat. Yeah. I did get <laughs> I'm glad it's not that. What wh who was it? It was a major story boss and it was uh like the first Are you talking about when Soda Poppin got millennia as his like very first boss and randomizer? No, no, no. I th that was a thing. And then he got Elden Beast yeah. for the second boss. Yeah. yeah. That was a thing. <laughs> but I, I fought, uh, uh, oh, Captain the Rick. Did you ever fight Rick? I fought so many things and saw so many things that I never saw when I played my game, which is. I don't even know who Rick is. That, is that just a guy named Rick? It speaks. Is it like Rick from accounting? It's, it's Rick or Greg or something. <laughs> it's some just like <laughs> shitty soldier. I forgot what is it? no it wasn't Nile. I fought him twice. Uh it was huh. just like some very small stupid soldier. Um and he was like a he's just the one I just went up and like hit him twice and he died. Um maybe it was the soldier of God Rick? Yeah, I don't know. Guard captain so I don't I don't remember what it was. Uh this tutorial boss and he was like a major story boss. And so yeah, that it was, was not funny. it was not Pickle Rick. It wasn't Pickle Rick. No. It was no. not Pickle Rick. Um Melania was is in it there. She was the. Is it something you can miss if you 100% it? Because I'm sure there's shit you miss if you, even if you 100% it. I don't know. I don't, okay. I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, mostly for chat. That was a question mostly for chats. I'm not sure. Um, it, it's super fun. The randomizer is smart, like it has logic to it. And so uh, you can actually go in. Apparently, someone did a run of Elden Ring where every boss and every enemy, including wildlife, was the fire giant. And it took him seven hours to get out of the first cave because everything was a fire Ooh. giant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, that's that's, that's a thing. That's it's crazy yep. <laughs> to think about. So it was just like clipping through all yeah, of the there's environment just, and shit. There's okay. just giant fire <laughs> giant just hanging around, clipping through wow. all the shit. Uh and people are doing that. It, it's the game is crazy when you when you start to mod it. Uh it, it's a it makes it a lot of fun. I had a, I had an absolute blast with it. Um, it was like a thirty five ish cool. hour run. Um, it was great. So I'm glad I. But you said you didn't beat it. No, I'm stuck on the final boss, the fucking Malekith. No. Uh, I couldn't. No. I couldn't beat him. It, it was. I'm a little under leveled. I'm like level one twenty. Um, and typically for last boss, I think you're like one fifty, one sixty. So might just have to grind it if if I'm gonna finish it, but. Grind or, or or get good. Uh, yeah. Switch switch classes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could go switch I've, classes. I've heard from Twitch chat that getting good is is probably the optimal way to do that. Yeah, yeah. You've considered if you've considered. I've it, tried. You know? I've tried. Um, <laughs> trying to think like some of some of the I got real lucky in some places, and in other places I got really not lucky um, in terms of the random bosses. Um, you guys remember the spire in the main city that you climb up the tree root to get to mm -hmm. the fight? On that tree root was two ravens from Kaled and one of the oh, giant God. one of the giant dragons with the double set like of bags. And I was I just like, like ah, okay. So I like ran at the giant dragon, aggroed him, and then ran back. And he like waddled off and then just walked off the map. <laughs> and then oh, I sure. Ran okay. past all of the giant things, spawned into the boss fight. And it was phase two of uh, Rickard in snake form from Volcano Manor. And I didn't have the sword. And so it gave me the sword. And so, oh, wow. Okay. And so I had to, <laughs> in the middle of the fight, equip the sword and fight Rickard in phase two of the, yeah. just some wild That's shit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so like all of the items also spawn you can put it's smart in terms of it having logic like if you need to get the key to go into uh hogwarts or whatever the fucking place is called the, yeah. the magic uh academy somewhere in that zone is the key but you have no idea you just have to literally Pretty sure kill every that's mob. called hogwarts yeah, yeah yeah you have to kill literally every mob and so it was a nightmare trying to find all that type of stuff. Um, but it was fun. 
It makes it so if you've played that game before, it's completely new for a brand new run. Um, and you can't go and be like, I'm going to go get this item and that'll carry me to this item. It's literally, let's see what this item, okay, I guess I'm using this ax. I got an ax. Let's use the ax until something better is, is in front of me. Um, so it's good. It's, it's more Elden Ring yeah. at the core. I had a lot of fun with it.